Hello, my name is Dave Martin and welcome to lesson number four in the Creo Parametric for Absolute Beginners series. And this lesson covers getting help. In the upper right hand corner of the interface, you have a few different resources for getting assistance while working in Creo Parametric. First off, as a new user, you're just getting used to the interface and you might have difficulty locating some of the different commands in the software. And so you can use the command search. When you click on the icon for command search, it opens a window that allows you to start typing in part of the name of a command. For example, right now I have my datum planes displayed and I want to turn off their display, but I can't remember where that command is. And so if I start typing in the word PLA for plane, we can see that shows any commands that has have PLA in the name. And if you hover your mouse over one of the commands, for example, plane display, it'll show me highlighted in yellow that this command is available on the view tab and it shows me which command that I can use. Similarly, if the command appears in multiple locations, it'll list those other locations as well. And so that way I can see where the command is and I can actually execute the command from the command search. So one thing that you might want to do is just execute all of your commands right from the command search. For example, if I want to create a sketch, hey, I can start typing in sketch and then hover my mouse over the command and then click on it and that takes me right into the sketch dialog box. Next up to the right of the command search is the learning connector. And when you click on the learning connector, it's going to open up a small area over here on the side of the screen. And since I just executed the sketch command, right now it shows me topics on the sketch feature. So for example, Here's one on creating sketches and I can click on it. This requires you to log in with your ptc.com account. So I'm going to type in my password and then click log in. And it brings up a window with that content that I can then read through and you can actually play and listen to someone talking through the information on creating sketches. Let's close that. Also in here, there are areas for accessing the PTC's Help Center, which uh, is the online help for information on commands related to Sketch, and also the PTC knowledge base of articles. And let's say you went in here and it's, you say, hey, you know, it's nice that it showed me information about creating a sketch, but I hear about this command called copy geometry. I want to find some more information about it. So I'll type in copy geometry and then hit the enter key. And so that way you can change the topic of information that you're getting. And so here I see the help center, the knowledge base information and so forth. All right, let's close that and go back to maximize. The icon to the right that looks like a question mark is the help center. And again, this is going to require you to log in with your ptc.com account. And it takes me inside of here and you can browse through the different topics. For example, hey, I'm doing some part modeling. Let me look through here. Oh, I'm interested in some uh, base features. And which base feature am I interested in? Oh, the sweep. And then you can click on the topics and read about it. They have hyperlinks to other different areas. And rather than browsing, you can also search through here as well. For example, maybe I'm interested in the paste command. Type in paste. And there you see everything that has paste in here. And then you can figure out, oh, you know what? I'm interested in copying and pasting geometry and it takes me to that particular page. All right, let's minimize my web browser. I also want to mention from the file menu, there is a help command. And so it has some of the very same commands that you have in the upper right hand corner, but also the ability to log support cases with PTC, also access to some other online resources as well. This concludes lesson four. I hope you enjoyed this video.